Uh, that day, I was at, at the time I was staff photographer for the Union. We had gone offset uh, not too long before uh, uh, November, and I was making halftone negatives of photographs that were to be put in today's paper when the phone in the dark room rang, and it was uh, Betty Bamber up at the uh, front desk saying, Bob, you better come up here. There's uh, been a Kennedy president has been assassinated. And I said, no, that's pretty lame, kid. What do you want me for? She says, I'm not kidding. Come up and take a look at the teletype. So I came upstairs and there was nothing going on. All the lion time machines had stopped and the uh, teletype machine was clicking wildly and people were all gathered around reading what was coming up over the uh, over the teletype and finally uh, the story did come through that uh, the president had been shot. So we got the um, the uh, tore the uh, paper out of the uh, teletype machine and Bill Martley, who was the uh, news editor, took it downstairs as we used to do and put uh, uh, the uh, teletype news bulletins on a blackboard at the foot of the stairway at 151 Mill Street so people walking by could take a look and see what was going on. These were the days before television news had grabbed everything you got, still got your news primarily from newspaper and radio. Uh, that was really a traumatic day. It was day. quiet on Mill Street. Couldn't hear anything. And it was that way for, oh, at least a half hour or so. And then people began to stir and it began to sink in that this was a fact that the president had been shot. Continuous that they walked along and of course a lot of them shook their heads and in seemingly in disbelief, and some pe you could see people coming out of the different stores along Mill Street and walking over and reading what was there. It used to be in the past that they would reverse the column rules, the rulers between the uh, different columns on the page, and there'd be a big flat surface that would give you a thick black line. And they did that in mourning when a public figure either died or was assassinated or something. And if you look through the files of old newspapers, uh, the last assassination before Kennedy was McKinley. You can look at the uh, papers around that time. And of course, uh, it started about the time of, uh, of Lincoln, when Lincoln was assassinated, is when they really started to reverse the column rules. Well, we couldn't very well do that because these were just uh, little paper tapes that we had there. So we decided to take a black tape and run it all around the front page as a, a, a sign of mourning. That was uh, Pete Ingram was the city editor, I was the photographer, and we did that uh, with the permission and the blessing of the publisher who was Bob Ingram, Pete's father. So, and as far as we know, we were one of the few papers, if all, that uh, really did that. Uh, uh, I, I don't think any other papers did. They reversed the column rules, but bordering the front page, I think we were probably alone on that. Well, it was, uh, it, I'll never, of course, there's no way I'll ever forget, because I was part of the process that disseminates the news. I was there uh, when it came into the newspaper office, and I was there as it went out.